Hey, what's up? I'm Lauren London. And I'm Jose Chanchez. And you are watching CNikki.com. There. Um, do you think that Malik is growing up? Yeah, I think he's growing up at his own pace. I think, Lauren, me and you had a conversation earlier when you first came to the show about how you didn't judge your characters right. and felt like you felt like in order to really play your character, you can't judge the character. And then I think maybe you came to a point where you were like, okay, am I judging character Kira? And then I was like, you know what? I think I judged Malik the entire time I played him. I judged Kira a lot too, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Until the end where he started to really appreciate um, his flaws because he wasn't like me. Like I wanted him to be like me because I grew up doing this job. I grew up, you know, from 24 to 34 on this show. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, I've learned so much. I've grown so much, but why is this guy still in this position and still in this place? But in truth, my pace isn't someone else's pace. And they were writing him according to the pace that they felt was good. I, I didn't agree with a lot of what they wrote, but at the same time, I ended up, after the fact, understanding how important it is to accept people as they are. That's right. just in life and in character. You see what doing scenes with me has done for this man right here. <laughs> I do, girl. That no, that's from, girl. Doing, that's from yes. being on set with me. That's, that's what I'm joke. saying. That's not a joke. I've really grown. Yes. Look what he's turning yes. to. That's I'm like wisdom. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you another thing Lauren taught me, though. We were just talking about that earlier. <laughs> Is no in all seriousness, and I think because Lauren was so is used to doing film, um, there's a beginning, middle, and an end. And your attitude for business in the beginning of coming to the show and in the ending of coming to the show really taught me a lot about just letting go and embracing the time that you have and being able to move forward in your career. Because this isn't the end of your career. This is this is a moment in time, and you're an actor. And I remembered you said, I'm an actress. I'm always going to be an actress. I don't remember what that moment was about. But that taught me a lot about, okay, the reality is I'm here, and I'm always going to be here. So enjoy it, embrace it, and then move forward in love and just let go and not hold on to, you know, oh, God, am I going to work again? Oh, I've been on this show for 10 years. Oh, people are going to see me past, past Malik. You know, all those different things that could come up. So Absolutely. Well, um, you know, one thing that really got to me during all of the seasons was when you had the substance abuse, abuse issue. Mm. I think that that really touched a lot of people. Mm. Um, did you relate to that personally? And if so, how did that affect your life? Um, my father suffers from substance abuse to this day and has for about 20 plus years mm. of his life. And that's a story that was really sensitive to me because being a kid of someone who has substance abuse issues, in the back of your mind, there's always this little thing that's being addicted to anything um, was a fear of mine. Until growing up and learning that my place in life isn't my father's place. So that's something that's really uh, present in my life with my father and with his experiences. So I approached it, I didn't approach it from internalizing it as an actor like I should have. I played that entire scenario with Malik on the outside. I was never fully in character. I never fully understood it. I never was fully aware of it because I was afraid of it. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 That's why you should have jumped into it because you were afraid of it. Right. right. Next time. But then, yeah, next time. <laughs> so that whole thing was just me just acting like I knew what I was talking about and not embracing what I was actually going through. Mm. Well, I think it, the storyline really helped a lot of people and it touched a lot of people whether you were dealing with it personally or you know someone or someone's in your family that's dealing. so you did a great job you did a great job with it Thank did you. it bring you and your father closer together you know what that didn't bring us closer together um I'll tell you this forgiveness brought us closer together mm. and me not only forgiving him but forgiving myself for the thoughts I had of him my entire life and see, that's where free, real freedom in life is, is, and that's where I don't have any fears anymore. Because when you start with forgiveness and you start to assess who you are, what you've been through, and what you don't want to do, you realize that your connection to the thought of being like him is what keeps you trapped and close to him in that way. So now I've released myself from that by knowing what my presence and my destiny is and claiming what's real in my life and what's not. I don't even acknowledge. Mm. So, and through that, you know, working through forgiveness, again, forgiving him and forgiving myself for my thoughts of him all the years that, that I've grown up. So that brought us closer together, forgiveness. Well, thank you so much um, for sharing that. I really had no idea. And 
that makes you seem more human. People relate to you even more. And I and I, after that, I honestly I like you a little bit. Good. Um, Thanks. just I did that's all of that just, just so you uh, like just a little bit though. Yeah. A little. That's all I can give you. That's all I want. Season nine, you get a little bit. I'm Sharice Nicole. Thanks for watching SeeNikki.com. Be sure to tune in for Season 9 of BET's The Game. And remember, to know what's good in Hollywood, you gotta see Nikki.